I got the lift out of this shed the last couple of days and a bit of cleaning up done. A lot more cleaning up once I get uh, start moving along here, but it'll do for now. Um, Chuck is still sitting there. Um, today is uh, Sunday. Turbo was supposed to come in last Monday for the truck. Just three packages come from England. Um, one with all the bits came in, but my silencer is in another package on its own and the turbo is on a package on its own. And I stuck them in Dublin Port. I'm guessing something to do with Brexit. They're trying to make up customs or whatever. But uh, I can't do anything on that truck. I need to get it turned around and reversed in to start the first bits of work on it. Because what I'm doing first is the rollers that are on the body. I need to pull all the rollers out. And I need to patch the holes where the rollers are on top and bottom. Just to give it a bit more strength back in it again. I cut all these plates last night and I beveled them just so I can get a weld. A kind of full penetration weld to the what's on the steel. It's not as thick as this. Um, to patch up the holes. There is 10 rollers. That's 20 of these I need. But I didn't realize the top ones are 90 mil long and the bottom ones are 120. So I need to, I'm just using the six mil plate. I'm getting four out of each width. And I just need to cut the ones to the bottom now and just get that prepared. So when I get the truck in, I can just do that. And that's all the work I need to do on the truck really. Um, I'll start building the body, then the, bo the body can be put onto it and start welding. And I was going to start cutting the cross beams out. I kind of don't want to do that until I have the truck in here and I can start measuring it properly. Because I want to get the plates on it. So I'm just going to get this cut out. It's Sunday now, so I don't know how long I'm going to spend here, but... I have the truck turned around. Turbo hasn't come. Um, I was going to do a video. I thought I was going to be able to just spin it around the yard here with the forklift to pick up the back. But the truck is 31 foot, top to bottom. And the yard is 30. So I have to bring it out on the road, spin it around main road and back in again. So my plan now is to uh, just clean up here, start with this. I've caged the brakes. If anyone knows I've done this wrong, please tell me before I put it back on the road. And I've just um, pulled out them to pull the spring back. So just resetting them. Does that reset the brakes? I hope it does. I'll have to look into it. If someone knows, tell me. So I'm just going to clean up here, get this cleaned up, and try and start welding in the bottom ones. Right, what I've done here over the last couple of evenings, <coughs> it was a dirty uh, job. It's not, hopefully it's the worst job I have to do, was patch up these holes where uh, the rollers were. The top wasn't bad, it's just the bottom here where all the rust was. Or, not rust, they're, these are caked in oil, and well, grease all the way along. And... Uh, I got them done last night on the bottom and I've just done the top there now today. So that's them all sealed in. So my plan now is I'm going to pull the truck out. I'm not driving it so I have to use the forklift. I want to get these this C channel when it sits here on this it hits this when it tilts no matter what. And the old body hit here as well and it was scraping on it and i thought it was because of these uh have worn out the where it hinges but what i've done is i put the forklift on the back and i've lifted it all different ways and uh, there's no play in there at all which i'm kind of surprised because it just looks like it's steel so i think what happened is the rollers wore out and the steel kind of wore out and it dropped it all a bit to hit it so i have I have to check what I have. I measured it. I forget what it was. It was like 5 mil, 50 mil plate or 60 mil plate. And I'm just going to weld a full strip from the top, all the way to the top down each side. And then I'm going to uh, grind it and shine it up just to get it like that. Just a bit smoother though. I'll use a mop disc. And then that's what I'm going to use for, I'm going to grease it. And it's just going to slide on that. So my plan now is push this out. I want to get the two channels sitting on these railings on each side. And, uh, because this body is, this subframe is bent. I don't know if you can see. I can just camera on. I didn't show it there. But it uh, once it goes by the, the lifting rams here, there's a small bow on it coming up to the top. I don't know if that shows it. So what I'll do is um, 
I was half thinking about putting the channel on first. I'm going to put the channel on to see does it fit uh, the way it is. Because I'd say it's going to be getting caught and I don't know how to grease it. Um, I would like to put grease nipples in it, but I'm not ready for them yet. So I'll just have to see um, small bit. Of, I won't. All I'm going to do now tonight is it's Friday evening, at six o'clock. Um, I want to get this ground down and maybe try and get it welded. And then I've just got a week with no other jobs, just to concentrate on this alone. So hopefully I'll be able to get a good bit of this done. I'm just hoping the turbo comes in so I can start it up because I need to be able to use the hydraulics on it. Um, right, so I'm just going to pull this out. Touching all the way up. And just when it gets to this roller here, slowly peels away from it. So I'll have to, uh, there's a strip being welded all the way down, it'll strengthen it a small bit. Nothing else I can do with it really. Alright, next morning here. So the plan here now is to. Get the top of this cleaned up. I think I'm only going to weld it in like four inch welds. I was going to weld the whole lot along, but I don't think I'll bother. Um, so this, I need to fill up the gap to rise these up a small bit. So it's not hitting that and fill the gap. So this is, I think it's five mil. I need to make up the gap was six mil gap. And I wanted to do four mil thing, but they had no four mil. So I have to get five mil, but the scale on this, um, I'm hoping to grind all this off and uh, have it shiny, just make it like that, and then um, I grease it. My plan is to put it on now, weld it on and leave it and work the body. And then when I'm finished welding the body, the last time it comes on, I'm going to shine this up if that works. But if it's getting stuck, I'll just shine it up and uh, get it done straight away and grease it because I didn't want to grease that yet. So that's the plan there now, just to uh, grind them down. When I was ordering the steel, I, for some reason, I don't know, I thought I needed 23 foot of this. I didn't realize that's only 18 foot long. And these come in 20 foot length, so I have an extra length of this. So that'll work out handy for just making brackets and stuff like that. I'm sure it'll get used. All right, so all I'm gonna do here is clean up a lock of this all the way in, in so many sections down each side, just put that on and weld it. And at the back here, I was thinking about uh, bringing it a bit further down and just putting a little bevel on it. Um, it'll work one way where I can just put grease here and let it slide up, but then I'm kind of afraid um, it'll be able to wedge in bigger kind of stones and stuff from the road. So I might just leave it. Um, I ordered clamps last night. I'm missing stupid things to this that I should have ordered the last couple of weeks, but when I'm waiting for the turbo, it kind of messed everything up on me. Um, I was waiting to pay for the turbo because I didn't know how much. I have a load of stuff. I have a load of other things stuck in customs as well at the same time. 
It was the first time I ordered stuff from different companies and it's kind of really fucking screwed me up. That clamp I bought, I didn't buy it, I was working in a factory. Um, that clamp is 19 years old. It's one of the best clamps. It, it's unbelievable for uh, doing anything, but I bent it there doing um, pressing the bush in the hub in the in QR. So the Bessie clamps, the welding ones, you see a lot of American people have them. I, I don't see many of them over here. They're just a solid piece. Um, I was going buying them last night, but I found these ones. They were five or eight euros more expensive for these same kind of ones. Um, so I ordered four of them. It's Saturday morning. So uh, I paid for it last night. It was like half ten last night. So I just put a request to see how quick I could get them sent down because I'd like to have them here for... Uh, just welding everything down because they give a good strong clamp and they keep everything square. Um, yeah, so I did more ordered, but it's stuff like I need to go get grease nipples. It's Saturday, so I might take a bit of time out and run around and just I want to get proper grease nipples with their tap with proper taps to make sure they're not fine thread because the ones I took off here are all fine thread. I'm kind of thinking the newer ones are in fine thread. So what I want to do is tap, drill and tap this like here somewhere. So it'll come through and then I'm going to do a little vein with a grinder each way. And I'm going to do a couple of them on the top, some on the side and some on the bottom, I'm thinking. And then that'll be easier for me just to grease all this and pump it in when it's on. I don't have to slide the bed on and off. I'm hoping that'll work. If there's any problem with that, anyone sees any issues with that, um, can you comment before I do it? But I'm sure no one's going to see this will be done before I've done. But uh, if you see any problems with me doing that, just say it on the comments. Yeah, it'll be something like that. If I just drill and tap there near the corner and just put a little vein out. And if I do about four of them on top, maybe less. If I just do two, two here, two there, and two in the bottom, then I can slide it along there and grease and if spots will be easy to do. I can leave that there. So I'll just start grinding this down and uh, weld these on. Ready for welding there now. Um, I'm gonna leave a small bit off the edge here. When I weld down here, I'm just gonna hit it with a hammer, bend it down, and then weld across here. Just to give it a small bit of edge when the body comes off, it will bend there. So I don't want it to be on a sharp edge like this. I wish I left it a small bit longer, maybe an inch. It is what it is. Up here, I'm just gonna weld that. And then I'll just uh, taper the edge off really good there. I just want to run and get grease nipples for this. I want to get a couple of more grinding discs before I start welding. Because once I start here, I kind of don't want to stop and have to go again. Once I start welding, I don't want to wait with it for the day. Um, just in case the fire or anything. So I'll have probably about half an hour welding just to do that. Then I'll mount this on. It's sliding past there, lovely now. And there's still a good gap there. There is a. Uh, it's only about half a mil. By the time I take this lime scale off, lime scale scale off, um, it'll probably be over two mil in there. Once it wears down, beds in a bit because a good bit will come off this as well. I'll leave that there. I'll go get everything ready.
That fits really good there. Small gap there. The whole thing is bowed a bit, so there's little gaps everywhere. Nice touch in there. And it's a gap here. But it fits good other than that. So, a bit late here now. I'm just trying to get everything on here so I can get a plan for tomorrow. And tomorrow what I'll be doing is, these have to come off again. And I want to put spacers. I'm going to, I want to measure this to make sure it's, I want to have it square all the way down. And then what I'm going to do is probably washers. I'll probably stick washers on the inside here, just to bring it out. The size of a washer at this side, that side. And then whatever these are, I'll match these to that. Then I'll have all that measurement done tonight now. And then tomorrow mo morning I'll get this, I'll take this off to that, get it back on with the spaces in. And then I'm going to start here with this first cross piece. It's going to come out to here. I'll just work my way down then. Once I have them all welded on, I want to be able to slide it on off. I'm not having the hydraulics, it's going to be paying the whole. <laughs> 